So last class we have tried to understand what expression transformation does and how does it operates internally to do the transformation. In this class, let's try to understand how does filter transformation work. Right? So filter transformation is an active and character transformation which is used to filter the data. So it works like a where class in SQL. It works similar to a class. So in this class, let's try to understand how filter transformation works. Right? Right. I'm going to create a mapping. To understand the filter transformation and to work on filter transformation. So the business requirement is to read the data from the table employee and load the data into the table employee. But you may have all kind of data on employee table in the source, but when you load the data into the target, you need to load only the data that belongs to department number 20 and the job of the employee should be manager right so basically we are we are going to load the data of the employee who belongs to department number 20 and the designation of the employee is manager right so let me take the employee table and let me take the employee table structure from the target and this is filter transformation so you can directly take the filter transformation from the toolbar or I'm just deleting it or you can go to the transformation say create select the filter transformation from the drop down list name it FIL is the naming standard. And drag the columns from the source into the filter transformation. Edit the filter transformation. So when you go to ports, you have input and output port enabled here. So you cannot uncheck it. Let's go to properties where you can write the filter condition. So this is the tab which allows you to write the filter condition. By default, it's true, which means allow all the records from the filter transformation. Let's change the condition. Let us say department number equal to 20 and job equal to manager. So the requirement as discussed, we need to load only the data only the employees who belongs to department number 20 and the designation is managed right so i can directly give the condition like this or you know i can just say if condition then true else false right so i'll say okay connect the columns from the filter transformation to the target Save it. Let me create a session for this, a workflow for this. I'll name this workflow as testing and I'll create a session for filter transformation that I have just created. So I'll select the mapping where I have created the filter transformation. Say so, okay. So now the next task, the next task is to give the connection information for source and target so that source object can read the data and you know target object can load the data. So as we know the connection is already specified so this is the connection string you know which has the information of the database to read the data we'll select it 
and also let's edit the properties and give the schema name and table name so that informatica can connect to the database then can you know read the uh, data from the table from the schema right so it, it's going to read the data from source schema employee table emp table right then let us do the connections on the target object too so let's use the same connection because you know the source and target both are available in the same database and i'll use truncate table option so when i use this truncate table option which is available in the properties for every execution of the mapping for every execution of the session it truncates the target table and then loads the data fresh right so the schema name where my target table is tgt underscore db and the table name is emp so i have given the options saved it let me try to you know execute the same so i am going to start the workflow so it's running let me see the properties so i can see all the task details here session name type ta type of task integration service that has ran the session on the load on which the session ran start date end date end time start time you know the status how many records were successfully read how many records were successfully loaded right how many were you know failed while reading how many were failed while you know loading and if i want to see the source and target statistics you know i can see it so this mapping has read 14 records from the employee table which is available in src underscore db schema and loaded only one record into the target which is available in tgt underscore db schema so let us see whether the data that is loaded is correct so let me connect to the tgt schema first So I have connected to the TGT schema. The data loaded is employee number seven five double six, and this employee belongs to department number twenty, and he is also a manager, right? He is a manager, and this employee belongs to department number twenty. So filter transformation has you know filtered all the data but allowed only one record, you know, which satisfied the condition, right? So, just let us see the source data also once, so that you know, right? So, see the source data. So, if you see the source data, only one record meets this condition, which has you know got loaded into the target, right? So, this way filter transformation works. Now, let us see what internally filter transformation does. You know, to do you know this operation. Right. So, source qualifier transformation reads the data, and the data when the data is moved into the filter transformation. Here, the filter condition given is just department number is equal to twenty. Right. So, it takes the department number for the department number column. And checks whether it belongs to ten. If yes, true, move the data to the target. So it reads the second record now. When the data moves to filter transformation, it validates the data. So it took the department number, verified whether that belongs to department number ten. So the condition was false. So it drops the data here. Right. So it doesn't move the data further. Right. So this way. Filter transformation, you know, internally operates to you know do the transformation, right? So this is all about filter transformation. Please pack, practice on this transformation so that the other classes will be more interactive, right? Thank you very much. Next class.
will try to understand sort of transformation.